Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp doing a uh, live tumbler tutorial tonight for you guys over the geode wine glass tumbler, well, geode tumblers. Um, so we're gonna hang tight for a few minutes, let some people jump on, and we'll get started in just a few minutes while I get everything situated, and then we'll get started. So jump on, say hi, let me know you're there, and we'll get started. Also, don't forget to uh, share the video um, in, on Facebook um, so your friends can watch with you, and it'll be a super fun night tonight. So, hey, everybody. I'm glad everyone's getting on. Um, so, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, and I'm very sorry. Uh, it's been kind of crazy. So, um, now that we're all here, um, and we have a bunch of y'all on here, so we'll get started. And we're gonna show you basically from start to finish on how to do the uh, geo tumblers. Um, and for those of you who are watching, hey Rachel, those of you watching, um, all the glitter tonight is used, uh, that's used is Glitter Chimp Glitter. Um, we'll post a link later for all, where you can get the glitter and which colors we're using, as well as where to get the actual color packs. So let's get started. Um, I already have prepped my tumbler. Um, for those of you wanting to know, um, I am using the hog 15 ounce. It's my alarm. Um, the stainless steel tumblers. Um, this is the 15 ounce stainless steel wine glasses is what I'm using because who doesn't love more wine? Um, so I have mine on football because it's just easier for me to hold and to paint it and I have a sticker on my hand so hey Brittany um, so we're gonna get started this is a very simple cup to do I know it looks really complicated but that's why it's super fun because if it looks harder it looks it looks better and it's greater for your customers um, so we're gonna start with Mod Podge um, to do this so I've actually poured my Mod Podge into a cup so I don't contaminate, but I'm using a uh, Mod Podge matte finish um, Mod Podge for the video. So I'm gonna tilt the camera down a bit. I'll still be able to see you guys talking, but this is just easier for me, for you guys to see what's going on. So feel free to ask questions too, cause I can read, and I have a sticker on my shirt too, uh, <laughs> what y'all are saying. So I have just prepped the cup like normal, spray painted it with white, base spray paint which is rust-oleum's um ultra white uh flat paint the white paint is just what i'm using you can do any base coat you want to create the color of geode that you want but um for mine I'm, i did a white base so um i have three different brushes i'm using these are just from hobby lobby no big fancy thing there and a little just white brush so I can put the Mod Podge on the tumbler. Um, I'm gonna start with the, uh, on this tumbler here, I'm gonna start with the first outer line. And there's two ways that you can do this. Um, you can do two ways on this, which is one, you can use paint, like acrylic paint first, to paint your guidelines of what you're wanting to do. And uh, yes, Brittany, that is Keely. We're at working tonight at Glitter Chimp. <laughs> so um, you're just gonna freehand it. Um, I recommend for those of you who are doing this for the first time to maybe even like go on Google and search um, natural geodes or even look up the um, agate stones to see a good pattern to follow. Um, so I'm gonna do one side here with just Mod Podge, um, and then I'm gonna do the other side actually with base paint. So you can kind of see the different effects that you'll get with the two. So let's get started. I've got my Mod Podge on my brush, and I think on this one I'm gonna start, it's gonna be, we're gonna do like this on this side here with just the straight Mod Podge on the brush. So um, you just kind of draw how you, how you want with the Mod Podge of your shape. And I'm gonna kind of make it a little funky. 
which I realize you guys can't really see what's going on right now with the glue because it's white on white. So I put, you can see where it's wet on there. And my first color I'm going to use tonight is kryptonite, which is a lovely green. It would help if I had the lid off. So I've got kryptonite here and you're just going to pour it on and it's going to just fall where it should. Thank you, Keely. So it's going to just fall to the, like where the Mod Podge is and that's where it, you're going to have your first shape. So you just kind of slowly work your way inside or outside, depending on how you want the, the lines to look. And then you fill in. So since this is on the bottom, I'm going to bring it all the way to the bottom here. And the cool thing about doing this with Mod Podge is that you can actually, if you don't like how it looks, you can easily just wipe it off with some soap and water. And, um, and if that doesn't work for you, so now you've got your geode. Hi, Rosalyn. Um, that is starting to take shape on the tumbler. And so, um, be doing it like this I still think this is I need to make it wider I think let's see a little bit wider yeah I'm gonna make it a little wider um so I'm actually gonna go back through here and I'm gonna do a le another line on the outside and that's what's fun about these is you get to do it how you want it to look and that's why I like doing tumblers oh thank you Tina I'm glad you're able to turn, tune in and watch. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Debbie. So again, this, the first color I'm using tonight is kryptonite. It's a gorgeous mix. It gives it that really fun, chunky crystal look, which you're going to want in a geode. So that's kryptonite. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to go, I want a thinner line on the outside of a darker color. And so I'm going to go with I'm gonna do succulent on the outside. They didn't see that. <laughs> I just spilt some uh, glitter. Glitter down. Not much. Just a touch. So you're just gonna do, like I said, however you feel like doing this, you can make your own geode. And I, like I said, the colors are gonna be on, they're online right now. Um, on glitter chimp so if you wanted to get these exact colors you can um but i mean there's some amazing colors that you can do i've done a teal color geode tumbler before and that turned out really awesome and that's actually for um a friend of mine's wife who doesn't know it's hers yet so i can't show it um but some i've done some red ones and i actually like the red because it's my favorite and I think next I'm going to do a nice purple because amethyst is a gorgeous one color to use on the tumblers. This is probably the messiest design. I don't use Mod Podge very often. I usually go with epoxy method, but this is kind of fun because it gets me a little out of my comfort zone and I kind of find these challenging in the aspect of design. So that's, I really like that. I like it with the darker line on it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I have my two out, my two lines. So now I'm going to work my way in. So I'm going to set this down real quick and stay. move on to the next color which is jade so we're gonna do sorry for the okay sorry that was succulent that i did on the outside and then it went to kryptonite and now we're gonna use glitter chimps jade and ultra fine this is one of my favorite greens and um and i'll show you why it's got this amazing sparkle to it and it's super light green um i've just always loved that color and so uh that's why i'm going with greens tonight 
Plus, I think I'm going to give this cup to somebody special that works here. Because if we don't drink enough wine, it's just not a fun day. <laughs> All right, so, and the fun, so, um, like I said, I'm gonna do this video from start to finish. Um, I have the epoxy tumbler here. <laughs> Veronica, we'll have more honeycomb, um, I think later next week. Um, I won't know for sure though until next week. We've got so much stuff coming in right now. Um, it's kind of crazy. That was funny. Sorry about that. That was my alarm telling me what time it was. So this is Jade on the top, on the next line, or I guess vein. And I need some more Mod Podge on the bottom. That's one thing about Mod Podge that's nice is you can, you can keep messing with it until you get it to how you like it. So now we've got the nice center. <laughs> yeah, epoxy can get expensive. I actually buy mine by the gallon, so it's, oh, it can, you know, it gets expensive, especially with how I buy it by the gallon. Yeah. <laughs> my, my daughter's up here right now, so. All right, so that was Jade. Jade. And the next color we're gonna do, I'm gonna go with another line of succulent in the middle and it's gonna be a very, very thin line. And then we'll get to one of my favorite mixes. Um, it's one of my, I think, underrated colors. Oh yes, this is, <laughs> I had a, uh, I made this cup in a tutorial actually a few months back. Um, and tonight I'm just drinking, doc I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. It's my daily drink of choice. So center stage is on the bottom and on the top is a, is a mix of deep space, chunky and ultra fine. And so this is my drinking cup tonight, my glitter boss cup. So gotta keep painting these really thin line here. I feel like this should be like uh, I know everybody used to watch Pee Wee's Playhouse and it's the visitor just came in. Oh. <laughs> He's like, uh-uh. He doesn't even know what you're talking about. Obviously he didn't have a fun childhood. He didn't watch Pee Wee's Playhouse. Did you watch Pee Wee's Playhouse? All right, this is looking nice. I'm liking this one better than the one I did the other day. Of course you do. For those of you who don't know, uh, Keely, who uh, is like, my number two here in the shop is helping doing commentary behind the camera. <laughs> and her husband just got here. I guess he's gonna babysit Olivia for me. Okay, I like, this is Hog. I use, only, I, um, I use Hog brand tumblers. Um, so this is a 15 ounce wine tumbler. But this is, I like how this looks, Keely. Ugh. Gorgeous. It's really pretty. You can't have this one. It's mine now. It's mine. Okay. So next I'm going to show you guys the middle. So for the geode, you can do these in any type of glitter. It can be ultra fine, chunky. It doesn't matter. Um, on this one, I'm going to do in the middle a lovely mix called Hazel. And um, I'm absolutely... I love this color. It's got a great, great different shades to it. It's green, blue, and it's got one of my other favorite colors in it, which is Loch Ness, and which is a really lovely dark, dark, dark green. So you just fill in and keep going with the Mod Podge. And the nice that you can get this type of a cup done in about 30 minutes before you know, it's done. I do recommend um, waiting overnight for the, epo uh, the epoxy, the Mod Podge to dry, 
just because then you don't get any extra little where stuff doesn't fill in. And, um, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is hazel that we're gonna put in the middle. And this mix is just chunky and jumbo glitter. So that is one geode on this tumbler. And it's really, I like this because it's really light. Um, last night I did the same colors, but I actually did a base coat of the paint and with paint and it looks, it'll really change it. So I'm gonna show you the difference you can get with the base coats um, and it'll make it kind of funky. So I kind of really like it. So this is one side. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna flip this cup around and we're gonna do another, um, another geode on the other side but with base coat of with base paint coats and i'll show you guys the difference because that's the other thing too about glitter especially because most of these colors i'm using are rainbow um are rainbow colors so they really pick up whatever their background um color is and i mean that is so pretty All right, so now we have our lovely blank canvas. Um, oh, the glitter colors, they are available online right now for us. They're in a set. Um, we do have them in the Geo Tumblr set. Um, but, oh, an avocado would be cool. You could easily do that with the dark, dark middle color. All right, so we're gonna do this again on this side, but with base coat, with a base paints. Um, so you guys can see the difference and I'm going to make it look exactly like this because this is so pretty. Um, but I'm going to start though with, uh, the kryptonite in the middle and kryptonite is going to match with, okay. So I'm using, um, Anita's acrylic paint tonight. The first color I'm going to use with kryptonite is citrus and we're going to start paper cleaned. All right. I almost spilt paint on me. Are you laughing at me? No. Okay. So we're going to do this one going down like this way from the top. And so we're going to start with the kryptonite. <laughs> and this will be more fun because you can kind of see what's going to happen before it happens with the glitter. And it's and after I finish doing the glitter, I'll show you guys how to do the uh, um, the veins that run through with the other cup that I have. And that's why I love doing videos for you guys because you get a full start to finish on how to do a cup. There's no extra videos to watch or anything like that. It's just straight up start to finish. All right, so. And you can make the lines as jagged as you want, as round as you want. So that's going to be where kryptonite will go. It's right there. I need this real quick. As I drop it on the floor. Woohoo! So that's going to be the lighter color. So then for, um, for the line that I'm going to do in succulent, I'm going to use, I'm going to knock over everything. Um, it's Anita's acrylic paint. This is Hunter Green. Have I done this with a glitter background? Uh, oh, the tutorial. I do have a glitter background behind me. It's just, you can't see it right now. Um, so we're going to do the outside line here with this dark Hunter Green. And base coat is so important with glitter so that you get 
you end up with a lot of extra coverage that you didn't realize you were missing. Um, but I mean, with this type of a tumbler, it's really cool because it gives it a much more drastic look. And you can get different looks with different glitters. Um, we carry a few that are, in my opinion, some gorgeous colors like um, the Tears of My Enemies is a great one. And the difference in colors that you can get between white back, like a white base coat and um, like black or blue, it just completely changes the look of the glitter. And uh, I mean, it, it will change the way that you make cups because you think you, uh, that you only have one or two colors and you're like, wait a minute, actually I have a bunch of different colors because you can use, I mean, basically anything to, uh, oh my goodness, to show off your glitter. You can turn one rainbow color into 15 with different base coats. Okay, so this is the outside, so the darker and then the light. So next color I'm gonna do for Jade is Anita's, what is this, Spring Green as the next line. Hello in Alabama. I wonder if it's as hot there as it is here because it is terrible today. I think I saw, I know my mom said that it got up to 114 where she lives up in, in Tomball and I don't doubt it. All right, so you can see this, the green is just a little bit darker. Oh yeah, Tears of My Enemies is a very great glitter. It was actually named by one of our moderators, um, named Barbara, and she named it, and she, I mean, it was, she just said that we needed a color named Tears of My Enemies, so we got it done. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be the next line, which is the thinner line, and now I need the dark color again. So we're gonna go back to Anita's Hunter Green. Man, I think the whole South is just melting right now. <laughs> That's my opinion. Because it's hot and we work in a metal, a pretty much all metal building. It's pretty toasty in here during the day. I think it gets up to like 85, 90. I think it got up to 90 in here today. Oh, I'm sure. In certain spots. Ugh, it was brutal. Brutal. So what I get a few weeks ago, I was like, this summer's been so nice and mild. Um, I did base, the, the, coat, the cup is base coated with white. Um, this side is just white base coat. And this one is going to be base coated with paint, different shades of paint. Um, so it's really cool the way it'll, uh, change the appearance of the geode and that's the only reason i'm doing it two different ways so you guys kind of get a tutorial for both it's a two in one which is amazing i'm all for extra stuff for you guys because this is how you can learn how to do multiple things so now we've got the dark in there and then for the color hazel, we're gonna do, and I promise I will put a list of everything I used in the description after the video is over. So um, I'm using Anita's deep, what is this? Sorry, deep green black. Woohoo! And this color is a lot more like really dark teal. And since this is just gonna be that middle part for the crystals in the middle, I'm just going to fill in this whole big space here. And this is cool because then as you do this, instead of wasting glitter, you can kind of see how it's going to look before you actually put the glitter on. And like I said, if you don't like it, the nice thing with Mod Podge or just paint is you can just paint right over it, change how you want, do it 
any way you want, you can just fix it. Once you put epoxy on though, it starts to get a little tricky. I am laughing right now at what he's doing. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> All right, so here is our painted geode that we will now go back in and fill with glitter. So it'll look like this, sort of. This will end up actually looking a lot more like this one does. So, oh, hang on. Let me put the lid on the paint before I spill paint. All right, so back to Mod Podge we go. Um, since we have the outside line first, and I know how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna just start straight with uh, the uh, succulent glitter. And you will immediately see how much darker it is than this line here once I get the glitter going. Too much. First time I made one of these tumblers, I thought I was, uh, I started it with the uh, white glitter first. <laughs> Quickly learned that's not the best way to do this type of a, of a geode. So I always start from the outside and work my way in and then go in and refill. So, have our Mod Podge on there. Come on. The fan's blowing the glitter. <laughs> no. Oh God, no. Don't take my precious fan. So now it's gonna start filling in nice and pretty. I think for Halloween, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to figure out a tutorial and dress up as Bob Ross. And we'll paint happy trees. Happy, happy trees. <laughs> Halloween is coming, guys. It's my favorite holiday, and I'm gonna have to make so many, so many tumblers for myself for Halloween. You'll think I should. Should I dress up as Bob Ross for Halloween? do it I'll do a tutorial uh Veronica I, okay so if the packs are sold out I do know though that all the colors are in stock otherwise so they are available and I mean I know there's a lot in stock so and I see everybody thinks I should dress up as Bob Ross and do a tutorial so this is succulent next we're gonna go in and do kryptonite whoop if I can hold it the right way and I'm going to switch to a wider brush for Because look, I mean, I'm using, hey, sorry. Everyone's coming to visit. One more episode of Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. It's the mailman. No, it's not. <laughs> sorry. When we work late, there's a lot of people that come in and out. So... Some of the glitter, some of the glitter hubs are, are up here right now working. It's kind of actually funny. All right, so, and you honestly don't have, I know, I don't know if you can even see that there's glitter from this uh, one color in there, just kind of gonna blend. And I didn't clean my paper, so I'll just set it over there, cause I have to go to that color anyway. Huh? All right, so. So now it's starting to really get in there and take shape. And you can really see the difference between how much lighter it is on the white base versus on the green. And that's why I love base coats. <laughs> We're all busy working. Um, well, I guess I'm having more fun. They're working. I get to paint and hang out with you guys. All of my friends in YouTube. Oh, right. So now that that's coated. When you do a base coat, like a painted base coat, it turns into basically a glitter by number. 
you know what you want it to look like and you move from there. Oh my goodness. I'm having to do stuff one hand, it's kind of funny. People are asking if you would do, and you may have already seen this, if you would do a pack for other colors for GF packs. Oh yeah. Um, we can do a couple different ones, some red. Somebody asked for blues and purples. Okay, we can do that. I can try to get that tonight one more because we're not we're not going home anytime soon we are gluttons for punishment and work way too much so um, next color we're going to do is jade Actually, I'll get that on here I'm going to try to move faster so bear with me here that was way too much glue spread around If you go out of the lines, don't worry about it. It's your cup, no one will know. Because <laughs> I'm painting out of the lines right now. Let's see, Jade. So now it's really starting to see it's much darker than that one is. And that's why they're fun. Oh my goodness. There we go. One hand. Not bad. All right. So what's next? Another line of the uh, succulent color. And I can also, if you guys need more greens, I can do more green ones. Um, on the tumbler pack thing that I have already on the website, it actually has like alternative colors if it's sold out. One of the colors that I'm, it's one of my favorite dark greens is Malachite. And that would make a gorgeous green in replacing like of uh, um, seaweed. I mean, not seaweed, uh, sorry, succulent. That'll be available Friday night. And that'll be online on Friday. Cause we're not, we aren't restocking anything tonight um, because we're doing this video. And also this way on Friday, we have a really, really big restock for you guys with a bunch of new, not new colors, a bunch of colors that have been out of stock for a while. Um, Jinx will be back in stock, Whirlpool, Andromeda, and we'll introduce maybe a couple new colors tomorrow during the day of some new shapes that are only available with us because that's what we like to do for you guys. So, um, now we're getting somewhere. This is the Hog 15 ounce stainless, uh, stainless steel wine glass from, from Hog. There we go. Uh, so now we're on to our last glitter for the middle, which I'll go back to the bigger brush for this. And then we'll fill it in with um, I'm actually not going to use a white. I, I'm kind of over white right now. I, I've been going more with the silvers and the really light golds. So, sorry, I'm trying not to block y'all here. Oh, right. So now we're going to fill this in with hazel. And the geode itself will be done. And then we'll do the outside part. When you're doing the Mod Podge and you're doing the chunkier or the mixes, stuck to the football. <laughs> um, I always press it down just so it'll help lay flat. So this is the darker geode with um, a base coat that matches the colors. This is the geode without a base coat. Both are gorgeous in their own like ways. It just depends on how you want it to be, but you can really see the difference between base coat and white, just a white base coat. Whoa. All right. So let me pour this back in this jar. And the other thing about these type of tubs is you end up using, um, a lot less 
glitter than you probably would think you would need. So where is, ha. So the next color that we're gonna use to fill in this part is one of my favorite ones. It's Silver Bells. Um, it's a great silver because it's super light and I mean, it pretty much looks white when you get it epoxied, especially on a white base. If you were to put it on a silver base, it'll give you a lot more of that silver tone. So now you just follow your lines and fill in with the white. And of course you're gonna do it in sections, which is awesome because with Mod Podge it's forgiving. And if you need to go back over it, you totally can. So this is Silver Bells. And you can, cut, you can see how it's a very light, light silver. Uh, I actually almost did this one with Alpine Snow. Um, I, Alpine Snow is gorgeous. I love the way that the white has almost like a purple, like shade, like shine to it. Um, but I wanted to go with something a little bit more muted to really show off the greens. But Alpine Snow would look great with these colors. So like I said, this tumbler's awesome because it's just a paint by numbers. I mean, you can just sit at your ta like your kitchen table and do this, um, which is actually what I did when I made one last night. And um, you, you can even get your kids to help with this one. If you have your kids, they want to play with the glitter, they can help pour it for you. Because once the Mod Podge is on and dried, it doesn't interfere anymore. But that's... This is silver bells, and I mean, I'm in love with this color. It's very underrated. Underused, it's like bubbly. It goes with everything. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen our perfect pairings, there you go, <laughs> bubbly. <laughs> you can drink now. Almost stuck that in the glitter. So now it's starting to really look. I mean, this is so pretty. Yes, we will have an Alpine snow mix soon. I promise. We have so much stuff right now that's in stock. We're trying not to do too many new colors. Plus we have subscription boxes coming soon. Gotta have those monthly boxes with some new stuff. Okay, so I'll quit. What was the question about sealing the glitter? Would you seal the glitter before epoxy. Every time she tries to do multiple colors before epoxy, they always end up blending together. Yes, I would recommend sealing it um, with whatever way you prefer. I usually use a spray, um, a spray seal. Um, I also like. I usually I let this sit for several hours before. I actually try to apply it to, uh, like to do anything to it, just so it's, I know it's dry and it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, but you can get the glitter at glitterchimp.com and everything's on there. We do rest we restock almost every Monday through Friday. Um, we announce on our Facebook group, uh, which the link will be below, um, what we're restocking every night. Um, and usually we restock at 8 p.m. Central. All right, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through watching me do the whole thing. Oh, I did do the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. I missed the bottom. I might as well since I'm almost finished then. So never mind. I'll make you sit through the whole glitter process here. So that's what, like I said, this cup takes about 30 minutes to make. Um, 
with doing it with the wine glass. And um, for any of you who are already starting to think about Christmas gifts, if you were to do like a set of these with four glasses and four different colored geodes, these would make great Christmas presents. So that is your geode tumbler. It's not finished yet, obviously, because it needs it needs something. It's missing a little extra something. So once you get it to this point, you would obviously let it sit and dry and then you epoxy it and then you end up with a tumbler like this. So I'm gonna set this thing down. Woohoo, I got it. Move this out of the way. So what you're going to do is get your paint pens and you're gonna add veining to this and it totally changes the way that the tumbler, it, it makes the geode look more realistic. Um, I don't know, I think I might go with copper and gold, or copper and silver. And I don't think I've opened these yet. That one I have. So the paint pens that I'm using are um, silver leafing pens. Oh wow, let me help you there. Um, these are made by Krylon. Uh, these are the ones that give, in my opinion, the best like silver and copper and stuff. And I have new ones, so even better. And um, come on, maybe, there we go. They're gonna really sparkle and shine for you. Ooh, yeah, I have to use this one. So um, when you do this, uh, you will do it when it's epoxied. Um, it doesn't have to be 100% smooth because if it gets little bumps and stuff within the lines, it's okay because stone, actual geodes are not smooth, they're rough. So you're just gonna kind of go through and in your opinion, just pick where you would put on a, on a real geode, like a little line. So right here, I'm gonna go and outline and you're literally just gonna follow your lines. You don't have to do it to all of them, just a few of them. And the, the paint pens will just glide through this because it's on epoxy. So if you don't like where you put your line, you're just gonna remove it and no one will know it was there. So right now, this color I'm using is the copper so copper leafing, and it looks really great with these greens as I smudge it. And I usually do two colors when I do uh, the pins. So like I said tonight, I'm gonna use silver and the copper. And I think I'm gonna do another one right here on the outside of the I hope y'all can see. I can't really see if y'all can see that well. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I do not sell the pins. I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They're next to the acrylic paint um, and like the gold leafing. Um, and I got lucky actually, because at my Hobby Lobby yesterday, the copper pen was actually on clearance for $2.48. And normally they're like $9.95. Um, but you can use your 40% off coupon and get them there. And I'm sure they're on Amazon. Um, but they, they're worth it. I mean, and you can do, you don't have to do the gold or the silvers. I've done them before where I used, um, blue and black on a teal cup and it looked incredible. So I'm going to add, I feel like I need some silver. I'm going to switch it to silver. And these pens, like you can see how much they shine. So I'm gonna follow this copper. So it's gonna have that gold and copper. Oh 
gotta flip it around. And your lines don't have to be perfect. Um, Remy, who's one of the moderators in the Glitter Shrimp page, also just did a geode tumbler, and it's got real rigid uh, lines, and I love it. I think it looks great. So you can always do that. And then I'm gonna do one more silver line right here. On the outside line. I need more ink or paint. They do make thinner one, uh, paint pens I saw, which are to make thinner lines. So that is, it totally changes the way it looks. And like I said, if you don't end up liking it, just take the, the ink off, the paint off, and it'll come right off for you. Uh, this cut, these are all stainless steel. You could do it on glass. Um, I just, I've never done anything on glass, but you could. So I'm going to do the same pattern on this one. It's nice because once you get that epoxy on there, this thing just glides right around. All right, so that's the silver right there. Um, for this type of a tumbler on um, on the size, uh, it really just depends on what the customer specifically wanted. Um, I just, me personally, I probably would charge somewhere between 30 and $45 because it is, I mean, it's a lot of work to sit there and plan and design how you want it to be, how you want it to look. Um, and it's important that you make sure you're making what you want to make, but at a good price for your customer to still be happy. Um, so I'd probably say for something like this type of a design, 30 30, $35. Um, I've been making tumblers now for a little over two years. So, you know, as you continue to, when you're building your business, you want to start out at a good comfortable price that you're comfortable with. But as you go through and you get better and become, you know, you can't, you become more talented, I guess, and you get better at certain designs, you'll find designs you don't like it's totally okay to raise your price to match what you think you should be getting paid for your level of talent. And um, I guarantee you, your customers will completely understand when they see how amazing the cups can turn out. So, all right, so we've got the inner, the inner gold. Now I'm gonna do it on this next line. And then we're almost done. And then I can eat dinner. Woohoo! So I'm gonna finish up this line. All right. So, and like I said, once you start putting those little extra veins on there, it really changes how much the tumbler looks like a real geode. Um, so like I said, this, this tumbler is both, both sides are base coated, uh, base paint with matching colors. All right, so we're gonna just do this extra silver line here. And 
and then I'll pull the camera back up and we, you know, if you have any questions, I'll answer some questions. Um, I'll talk about some different colors that would also just look super great as the geode. Um, like I said, the purples and the teals look really great. So do the greens. Um, but I mean, you can be as imaginative as you want. Uh, when I started making these, I actually just started Googling. Um, I'm a rock nerd. So uh, if you want, you just Google and, you know, search for geodes, natural geodes, and you can kind of see the way that they work, which is the darker and then they get lighter. And sometimes you'll end up with that darker vein on the outside and sometimes not. Um, and that's why nature's fun. Um, I use FX epoxy. Um, I live down in heat towards Houston. So when I started out, I used um, Alumalite and it worked great, uh, but the humidity and the heat during the summer started to kind of mess with the drying times. And it didn't always, it, it would tend to not want to harden all the way because it just was too hot. So um, yeah, so I switched to, I tried Promarine, I'm allergic to Promarine, so I switched now to FX, and I've been using FX for over a year. So this um, right here is going to be what your completed geode tumbler will look like. I will epoxy the one I made earlier. I'm gonna turn the camera back up so now I'm actually seeing you guys. There's everybody. Hi guys. Woohoo! Okay. Wow. Um, for colder temperatures, I, I would check your humidity in the area. FX is the one that I always recommend. And, um, but, you know, it's, everybody's different on their opinion. Um, I just, like I said, I prefer to use FX. That's the one I've used for over a year now. And, I mean, I absolutely love the way that their stuff works. And, look, and looks for me. Um, I can heat it directly with a torch. And I mean, it never ever seems to have issues. So with the tumbler, so with this one tonight, I'll take this home, I'll epoxy it so you guys can see. Um, and yes, it is premium FX that I, I use. Um, so I'll epoxy this tonight and finish it up. So tomorrow I can post a video, a picture of what it looks like so you guys can see it. Um, in its finished form. Um, so, but if you guys have any questions on the tumblers or just glitter, let me know. And um, I'll sit here for a few minutes and we can talk glitter all day long. Um, I am using a foam football on a piece of, I think this is one inch PVC pipe. Um, the football I just get from Dollar Tree, cut it off and then I just make the, make it go into the, onto the uh, PVC pipe. Um, how much epoxy do I use? Um, well, this is just Mod Podge. It's not epoxy. So you would just, um, I mean, it doesn't take very much to seal, to cover up a wine glass, which is great. So, um, Oh, the shelves. <laughs> yes, we've been restocking. So this is only a small section of everything behind me because we're in the shop. So yes, um, center stage will not be back in stock right now. It'll probably be about two weeks. Oh, the special event for the 24th is we're having a warehouse sale. Um, so anybody that wants to come is able to come to Glitter Chimp and shop our warehouse. Um, as you wish and you can meet me, meet Keely, meet the rest of the glitter fairies and uh, it's gonna be awesome. You get to, I mean, how often can you actually walk into a glitter warehouse and shop and get everything you want? And there will be- And there will, happening. there will be, we're gonna have a contest for the person that's traveled the farthest. We're gonna have giveaways. Um, we're also gonna be releasing something new that we've never sold and everyone's been asking for and that'll be on that day. So whoever's here that day has first dibs on the new thing, which I can't tell you what it is. So, yep. 
Um, yeah, I think Brittany might be the winner. Awesome. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Bonnie will come from Canada. That'd be crazy. <laughs> um, so we're located in Willis, Texas. And um, I know if you're on the Facebook, on our Facebook page, people are talking about road tripping together. Um, but it'll be from 9 to 4, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. that day. We're working on seeing about doing some sort of a live class or something. We're trying to work out the details. We're still not sure a hundred percent what's going on and we will see how everything goes. Y'all can't see this. The glitter husbands are standing over here and they're, they're talking trash. They're just over there like this. <laughs> Actually, they're like this. So that is that. Um, anyways, so, um, Please feel free to like and like this po this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, join our Facebook group for Glitter Chimp. And you guys will have, uh, I have glitter on my nose, I was making an itch. Um, Y'all will have, I mean, every question answered that I possibly can. So I'm gonna get back to working, working and no more fun. So, uh, you guys have a great night. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe below so you never miss a video, and don't forget to join our Facebook page so you can always see everything. Plus, we're on Instagram. We're on everything, I guess, social media-wise. <laughs> so, um, I do not sell the paint pens. Uh, they're at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, I'll post the names of them, though, so you can see what I used. And um, go to glitterchimp.com, and you can order the glitter on there directly. And our shipping times is pretty much same day to within 24 hours if you order before 12 p.m. Central. So you guys have a great night. We're going to get back to work here. Um, and you can get the glitter, sorry, glitterchimp.com. There should be a sign. It's kind of hidden, actually. Um, but yeah, so glitterchimp.com and you'll get everything there. So you guys have a great night and we'll see you guys hopefully again soon with a new tutorial in about a week. So y'all have a great night and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.